David Stone, 1220 North Piedmont Avenue, Kings Mountain. Council, good evening. Um, I'm here to clear up something. I understand the mayor's been telling people that I'll call Kings Mountain a failure. Those terms and words have never came out of my mouth. I've only talked about the opportunity here in Kings Mountain, not the failures, right? Kings Mountain's at the crossroads of a major change, and it is at our doorstep, right? And we've got things to do. I've recognized that our city park uh, is good. I've recognized that our utilities are good. Our tax rates are good. The opportunities are good here. But here's what I want you to hear from me. If you don't hear anything else, it's not that Kings Mountain's a failure, but good is not good enough in this environment. In an environment where the, in the private sector over the last five years, the rate of CEO attrition grows at a rate of about 27% a year. And these are big companies, Microsoft, Nike, right? You name them, they're seeing Starbucks, seeing change over in their leadership. Why is that? Three main reasons. One is unethical behavior. They're allowing their employees not to follow their company policies and they don't do anything about it. They go out on social media and say the wrong thing, right? Um, the second thing is poor company performance, right? Failed projects. The third thing that's in there is they recognize, you know what, after 25, 30, 35 years, it's time for new leadership. Leaderships can deal with the shift in consumer behavior. Leadership that can deal with the change in the new technology, right? This is why these CEOs are changing. We as a government body here in Kings Mountain, you need to hold yourself to the same standards. You should not be any different than what we hold the private sector, right? And what I'm here to tell you is good is not good enough. When you have a 70% vacancy rate in your downtown, good is not good enough. When you have a revolving door businesses coming in and out of Kings Mountain, good is not good enough. When it's taking you 20 years to start a streetscape project, good is not good enough. When it's taking you five months to get a small section of Mountain Street re renovated, good is not good enough, right? When you have a city official saying, hey, we've got engineer plans, but you don't have engineer plans, good's not good enough. Right? When you tell private citizens they can't paint their buildings, but your own staff goes out there and doesn't follow their own rules with the painting of the Jimmy Wayne mural, they didn't go to the Board of Adjustments and get a variance. They didn't even go to the DRAC committee. Those are all things that are required by the city ordinance. And the city staff did not follow their own process. Even though the mayor a year ago, you said, yeah, they followed all the right processes. They didn't. I requested the information. That's a problem. That's not the kind of leadership we need here in Kings Mountain. Two weeks ago, a gentleman asked you, who's accountable for streetscape? None of you could tell. Let me be clear. The city manager and the mayor and the U.S. council are accountable for streetscape. Hold yourselves accountable. Thank you. Anyone, anyone else? Could be David Johnson would it be under rezoning. Okay, good deal. Anything else? Yes. Sir. All right, thank you. All right, um, <clears throat> item six is a mayor and city council um, uh, comments, city manager comments. <clears throat> Anyone from council have any? I think I probably made enough of them, but no comments for yeah. the day. Yeah. I'll just offer a couple of quick comments. Um, some of the comments from the citizens create an opportunity to point some things out. Um, with respect to working with the schools, so that they can plan their capital investments. We are fortunate to have a good relationship with Dr. Fisher, and many of us talk to him frequently, but this is a great opportunity to call out one of our own, Ron Humphreys, who serves on the school board and is also vice chairman of our planning and zoning board and chairman of our transportation committee. So. I don't know how many municipalities and their county school systems enjoy that kind of close working relationship and overlap. Um, we have a recreation committee here comprised of three of our council members and they work with the school system very intimately and we've been able to work out some, call them public private partnerships or joint efforts to do some infrastructure together. So I think that good points were raised and I think we're very blessed to have those kind of working relationships together here. Also, um, when we did the work sessions for selecting developmental associates and uh, speaking with them about what was important to the city, many of the things that were raised here tonight were emphasized by my colleagues as being things that we want to make sure all of the candidates are aware that are priorities and we're going to be wanting to see what they can bring to the table to help us navigate through these things. So thank you. Yeah, thank you.